What's up everyone and welcome back to the AG Chelsea TV, today let's get started with Chelsea initiate contact to sign £69 million defender who has recently been linked to Liverpool, Chelsea and Liverpool are looking at sporting defender Usman Diamond according to reports with the Blues sending out scouts to monitor the Ivory and defender during the ongoing Afghan. London World has been exclusively told. Portuguese side Sporting CP have inserted a £69 million release clause in the 20-year-old's contract upon his arrival from Michelin last year. Chelsea have initiated talks with his entourage, while Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp is said to be another admirer. The Merseyside Giants are unlikely to be active in the January window but have earmarked Diamond as a player of interest for the future. According to the Daily Mail, Chelsea have been quiet in the transfer window so far, but they are keeping an eye out for talents with Thiago Silva long-term future at the club still up in the air. Trevor Chalabar has also now just returned to first-team training after months out but he's been linked with an exit as the club looks to balance the books with financial fair play rules starring them in the eye. Ian Matson has been the only player who has left the club so far after he joined Dortmund on a loan deal last week. Chelsea are also on the hunt for a striker but they know they will have to box smartly and have been linked with Saudi Arabia-based duo Karim Benzema and Roberto Firmino. Both have massive experience but will command huge wages which goes against the model they have now. The Blues have also made striker Armando Broja available for sale and will listen to offers of around £50 million for the London-born Albanian forward. Enzo offered to top European club for just €12 million Euros before Chelsea paid €121 million. Euros. Enzo Fernandez could have left Benfica for just €12 million, Euros, £10 million, pounds, 18 months ago before he signed for Chelsea in a British record transfer. After starring for Benfica and impressing at the 2022 World Cup, Fernandes left Benfica for the Premier League as he joined Chelsea. The Argentine moved to the Stamford Bridge outfit in a deal worth a whopping £106.8 million, but AC Milan could have secured his services for a measly €12 million, Euros, £10 million before his move to the Blues. That's according to Tutomo Web, who claimed the Italian Giants rejected the chance to buy Fernandez. he went on to join Benfica before sealing a monstrous transfer to Chelsea after helping Argentina win the World Cup in Qatar. The star midfielder has since made 46 appearances for Mauricio Pochettino's side, scoring four goals, Fernandez, who turns 23 today sat down with Chelsea and reflected on his time so far as he approaches a year at the club, the first six months were difficult, the second part of last year was better, he told the club's official website, that the current coaching staff speak Spanish has helped me a lot, I am working to get to my best level and hope I can meet the club's expectations of me, I'll keep doing my best, people have been so welcoming since I arrived here, I'm very happy and my family is too which is very important, my teammates are so important to me, they have helped me a lot, I'm happy they are my teammates, he said, I did my best to integrate myself into the group as quickly as possible, I've been here a year now and the group is really united, there are some great people here, I've been here for a while now and I've always tried to give my best for the group so that everyone does well, but, obviously, it's a process and it's going to take us a while to get to our best, but we are trying to do it as fast as possible. Conor Gallagher slows Chelsea down. One former Chelsea player has dug out a current blue and claims that he slows Chelsea down right now. There has been a lot of debate around this subject, and it will always cause passionate opinions from amongst the Chelsea fan base. Some will back this opinion below, others will see it as daft, but William Gallas is delivered his opinion on Conor Gallagher today, and he's at least done it in a respectful way. He says he thinks Gallagher is a great runner, but that he does not have the same technical qualities as Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo, and he probably isn't actually wrong with that. He believes that Gallagher slows Chelsea down and again. I think he might have a point with that too, William Gallas. Conor Gallagher is a great runner but quality-wise, he isn't the same as Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo. I think it's the opinion of many people that he slows Chelsea down a bit and maybe they need to change their system, Gallagher is superb at what he does and with his key strengths, but he can also be quite limited on the ball at times. Second top pundit tells Chelsea to sign Benzema, a second top football pundit has told Chelsea who they need to sign this month, and they also have no doubts about it at all. Once again, I agree with what this pundit is saying fully, without a doubt, Former Chelsea player Glenn Johnson has become the second pundit in the last hours to encourage Chelsea to go ahead and try and sign Karim Benzema this month. The veteran world-class striker could be up for grabs on a short-term deal this month as it looks like he potentially wants out of the Saudi league. Chelsea have been loosely linked so far, 
and they could make a move. Johnson joins Shaka Hislop is suggesting that Chelsea go for Benzema and how perfect he would be for them right now and due to the situation they are in. 100% absolutely. He's the type of big name striker you need. He's a goal machine, so you'd expect him to adapt easily to the Premier League. If a loan deal is the only option, then Chelsea have to try and sign him. Shaka Hislop on Benzema, I think Chelsea should say absolutely yes. I think calm Benzema coming in giving a bit of experience and a bit of quality is something they desperately need. In terms of an easy and natural fit, Benzema to Chelsea makes a whole lot of sense to me. And that's the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me.